How's it going everybody? Ramon here, back with another episode, or I should say the first episode of Meet the Shaper. I'm here with Mark Lambert today in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii, of Think Hawaii. And he's gonna talk to you about his shapes, how he got into surfing, and uh, his philosophy when it comes to dealing with uh, clients, shaping a board, and just all around his uh, joy for surfing. So, how's it going today, Mark? Good, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for coming. So, um, Think Hawaii, how did you come up with Think Hawaii? Like, Well, um, I had a friend from the North Shore. Yeah. His name's Toby. We were in the Army together. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, he told me he was going to come and uh, bring a board for me to try yeah. in town. And we met at Kiwalo's, and it was this... Uh, funky little two crows board yeah yeah and uh not a board i would ride kind of short six something uh -huh. and uh i took it out and i loved it so i told him hey i think i'm gonna buy this you know it was a demo board yeah he said mark why don't you just make your own and i've been doing it ever since wow so, yeah <laughs> so what, what year was that that was um a good 10 years ago really yeah so i've been at it for um uh, for about 10, you know, 10, years. 10 years or so. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> how'd you get, let's go back. How did you get into surfing? Um, well, I, I'm from Colorado originally. Um, I joined the army. I was stationed out at Schofield, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, during basic training, I got a hernia. And so I had to have surgery when I came. Yeah. And I got stationed at Fort DeRussi. There used to be barracks right along Kalapala Avenue. Really? Yeah. There was a set of barracks. It was just like a long strip house or strip of a house there. Yeah. And um, I got stationed there for three months to recover. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I had a profile, no lifting heavier than a pencil or phone. Yeah. And we had a... Um, a Hawaii National Guard guy, his name is Sergeant Kealoha, was in charge of us. Yeah. And I uh, was talking a story with him. I thought, hey, I'd like to learn to surf, you know. I'd never even been to the ocean in yeah. my life. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And he had this old IFA in a yeah. storage shed. He yeah. gave it to me. He said, here. And it didn't have a fin or any, you know. I yeah. took it out there and tried and tried. Yeah. And, uh, finally, one of the beach boys told me, hey, tomorrow you meet me over here. And I met him over there. <laughs> he put a fin in it. And from then, you know, that's what it took. Whoa. Getting a fin in the board. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I learned in, over there, canoes and queens. Yeah. Just, uh, trying to keep out of the way, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What year was that? Do you remember? That was, uh, that would have been 92. 92. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, I've been surfing since, you know. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, tell me about Think Hawaii. How did you get into shaping? Like, um, did you apprentice off somebody or like? Uh, no, I didn't. I just, um, like I said, my friend was kind of like encouraged me to make a board. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I just kind of did it. Watched a lot of videos and. Self-taught. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And just uh, been doing it, you know. Yeah. And you just got to kind of get your hands wet and I like to do them um, start to finish yeah yeah I shape them and glass glass them and you, you them. do everything yeah yeah and some of them I make the fins too yeah and, you know yeah whoa <laughs> so so yeah basically Mark does everything in-house himself like yeah. <laughs> that's super rare and so some of your shapes like your shapes are like one of a kind well thanks like man. <laughs> you you won't see a shape like like I was telling you guys in the car like you won't see any shape like what Mark does anywhere else he's I call him the George Greeno of Oahu because his shapes are just <laughs> one of a kind like just like even with this board like um you know you were telling me about this board and how it was a dual fin setup yeah 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 this one um this is a shout out to Shane this is the second board I'm making for Shane yeah and he's a really cool guy because he kind of doesn't mind me you know getting a little uh outside the box crazy right? yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah and this one's gonna have a um it's gonna have a single fin, fin on that end uh -huh. single fin box and then on this end it's gonna have a duo fin set up so two longboard boxes yeah over here so it'll be um a duo fin to a single fin he can you know switch it around switch it around, around. yeah it's got a you know much different rocker than on the you know nose or tail or whatever yeah he's yeah. gonna run it you yeah know? so it ought to be really fun cool you know? just he can experiment around he's the kind of guy he likes that you know 
So cool. Yeah. And uh, so has surfing taken you anywhere exotic? Like, have you been on any surf trips or? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. My wife and I, we we've been to uh, Indonesia three times. Um, we went to Peru. We surfed Chicama. What? Yeah, yeah. My wife, she she's uh only goes left. Yeah. So she yeah, she loved Chicama. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Wow. So there was actually another uh, guy uh, I interviewed, uh, Elton Gu. He recently came back from Peru and he was talking about that place and he was telling me about how gorgeous it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a really cool country, man. Um, it was interesting. You can tell some bad bad stuff went down at one point. Yeah, in, in their near history. History, you know? yeah. yeah. Like World but, War II um, artifacts and stuff. Yeah, or... and just yeah, it's an interesting place. Yeah, but um. The people are great. The food, I really enjoyed the food too. Awesome. And that surf was insane. Like there's just left set, you know, left point breaks. And, man, they're super long. That's what everyone says. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy long. Like, <laughs> like you don't paddle back out. You have to get out and walk back. Really? Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah, they're super long. And wow. just peelers, like for longboarding. Or, yeah. You can ride anything, but it's fun. Fun place to visit. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And is it like, um, is the surf industry big there, like the tourism industry, or is it just kind of like yeah. one of those places where if you know, you know? Yeah, it didn't seem, I mean, there was definitely a fair amount of surfers at uh, some of the, you know, main towns and stuff. Yeah. A lot of the breaks, like on the road, you know, as we're driving, we're just, it was just us. Wow. Yeah. Even Chicama was, when we were there, it wasn't like a great swell, but um, it wasn't crazy crowded or yeah. busy. Yeah. Cool. It's a really neat, neat place. Cool. Yeah. So wh where else? Um, tell me about Bali. Is like the trips down in Bali. Oh, Bali. Yeah, we've been. Um, we love Bali. Uh, we go like a uh, Bali island, you know, and, and we've been to um, Lombok and Sumbawa. Yeah, well. yeah. And uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, Bali's insane. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Miss it a lot. Yeah. My wife is a surfer. Um, and she puts up with me, you know, she's the best. She puts up with me in here often, yeah. shaping, and she knows, uh, you know, it's my passion. She puts up with it a lot. And um, my daughter, is, she used to surf, but she hasn't surfed in a while. She's 16, Maya, and uh, she helps me actually too. She's really good with colors. Yeah. Like um, uh, this girl wanted a Tiffany blue board. I have no idea what yeah, Tiffany what is blue is, right? <laughs> Well, I showed my daughter that color, and man, she mixed it up. It came out perfect. Wow. And she just recently, too, she did a sage green color for me for this other girl, uh, Kessie's board. And man, it came out so pretty. So she's really good at that. And then my boy, Finn, he's seven, and he's uh, he helps me with all the tail blocks, like the wood tail blocks. Yeah. And yeah, he, he's done, like, he's had to have done it. 30, 40 tail blocks. Jeez. You know, yeah, for a seven year old. Yeah, yeah. So, well, maybe not that many, but maybe coming up to 40 or something. Yeah, yeah right. He's, he's done a lot. Yeah. He helps me glue them on, and we got a, you know, teamwork system down. So it's fun, man. He's a, uh, it's cool. Cool. So <laughs> yeah. you might have a shaper in the making. You yeah. Never know. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. yeah. Before you know it, he'll be shaping his own board. So yeah, that yeah. would be awesome. Cool. Yeah, I hope so. Cool. All right, guys. So we are here at Uncle Mark's uh, garage, and uh, he's going to show us some of his his uh, classic boards. So uh, the first one, let's uh, talk about the green one right there hanging up. Okay. Yeah, this is an old Hobie. Um, I don't know it, what length it is or anything, but yeah, yeah, it's just a old D fin. Um, I mean, probably a '60s era. Yeah, uh, yeah. Longboard, and uh, I forget. I don't even remember where I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's just that's it's a it's a classic board. It's it looks like it's glass, super heavy. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, they're all super solid. They're you know. They don't really make them like that. No, they don't. Anymore. No. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, tell me about this one up top with the uh, wide string. Yeah, you know, I I think this is another Hobie. Yeah, this thing's got a huge, like at least one inch. Uh, looks like a balsa stringer. Yeah. Big D fin. And uh, 
every once in a while I'll take them out and ride them too. Yeah, that's <laughs> and so they're, cool. And they're not, you'd think they'd just be easy to ride. They're not easy to no. ride at all. They're and, super uh, tippy. And, yeah. Yeah, but fun, challenging. Do yeah. you notice with the uh, bowling glass, does it sit lo lower in the water? Like, is it harder to paddle for you or? They are kind of hard to get going, yeah. but once you get them going, man, is there so much weight with them? Yeah, yeah they have a lot of momentum. You nice, know? nice. Yeah, they're, they're fun to ride. Especially, I like this um, this Playboy bunny board over here. Yeah. This one's got the, uh, what was it? Uh, it's called the New Porter. It's a Dewey Weber model. And um, yeah, I just refinished this one recently. It's pretty fun. It's got the Playboy bunny over here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank you for your time, Uncle Mark. And no uh, yeah, if you guys uh, haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel to see this next episode. All right, aloha.